Father, Lord, we are so grateful unto you. We thank you for there is none that can be compared unto you. Jehovah, we bless you so much for the gift of another day. You have kept us throughout the whole of the week till today. We say we thank you. You are a faithful God. You are God, oh God, who never leave your people. You never leave us. You've told us in your word that you never, never leave us, nor forsake us. We are so thankful, O God, for your love and kindness. Father, Lord, we pray committing ourselves into your hands today to speak to us. Speak to us, Spirit of the living God, speak to us. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you to the program. How do you understand the word of God? We'll take a devotional reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 12 to 20. Brethren in the Lord, it is a big, it is a bit long, so we'll have to summarize it a bit. Paul was talking to the Corinthian church. He told the Corinthians that although they have freedom in Christ, it is not everything that is good for them. He also said that they must not become slaves to anything as so often happens with habitual sins. In the other the Bible, Paul, no, or New Corinthians, I for no air, Kasa, essay. A woman saw more of her who dear with Christo, Monan, Sunya, Dinina, and a fatal more. More Dinina, who quiet and yelling in an effatal more. No sacatch or more say. My young quoa and found my bonny soon kitten kitia. A tray of which she had to send through a name near my kicker home. I see and show you who ye ever home. Now say a kind FV verse fifteen now. We'll read from verse fifteen downwards. It reads, Don't you realize that your bodies are actually parts of Christ? Should a man take his body, which is part of Christ, and join it to a prostitute? Never. And don't you realize that if a man joins himself to a prostitute, he becomes one body with her? For the scripture says, The two are united in one, but the person who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. Run from sexual sin. No other sin so clearly affects the body as this one does. For sexual immorality is a sin against your own body. Hallelujah. Other phone your Bible can't show your name say. So, you don't see any pedria, any crystal, any pedria, any fa 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 na na se obi ede ne hon ebata crystal or ye crystal dia na sone ede ne hon kabata. Ojamambonia, and next is on your Jamamben Boni and so Abbe Yabako. Na, or can say, Say, yea, yea, dear Hombata Christua, and ye, na ye ni Christo, oh, hum, hum, bako. Or see, and your name fee a Jamambo, or see, Boni be a re niwa, a canny pedriano, a chain, a Jamambo, a son say, a Jamambo ye, Boni be a say, ni pedriano. Hallelujah. And no all can say. So ye ni mo say ye ni pedwe nyankopon nya me onkron kron na sori dan ana. Na ni oti ye mo no e ye honhom kron kron no. A o nyankopon di amaye. Na so ye ni mo say o nyankopon wa to ya bo din ana. O se wa to ya bo din Jesus Christo mo gana to ya bo din. Enu nti ye ndi ni pedwe ni. Hallelujah. It says that, don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. Who lives in you and was given to you by God. You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price, so you must honor God with your body. Hallelujah. In these days, we see that most of the prostitutes in Corinth, well, Paul was speaking, sorry, was speaking to the prostitutes in Corinth. Most of them were slaves. Although rich men often pre preferred high-class prostitutes, some very poor parents abandoned their babies 
when they could not care for the children. Usually, it was the girl babies who were abandoned, and those who rescued such babies often raised them as slaves. In the taverns, the slave woman, the slave women were made to work as bar maids and prostitutes to satisfy the sexual desires of the rich and powerful men of Corinth. All that the Bible is saying is that they pick up abandoned babies, especially female babies, and then bring them up so that they can use them to bring money to them. So they give them out to rich men so that these ones will sleep with men and bring money to them. In the same way, we know that even in our world today, there are people who have taken up this contract. They go to Africa and so many other countries and then bring people as slaves or bring them to work for them as prostitutes. Protest sorry, <laughs> prostitutes. And so we see that it's uh, something that started from the Bible days and is still continuing. But the Bible is warning us today that we should not think that it is something that we have to do and then go back to plead with God to forgive you and then go back to it again. It is a very big sin. Although all sins are, are called sin, but it says that this particular sin, fornication, prostitution, fights against the body. And our bodies, your body and my body, they are the temple of the living God. So let us be careful how we move around quoting the Bible or saying other things to satisfy ourselves when one is indulging in such a sinful thing. The Bible strongly condemns sexual immorality. God created all of us in his image and for his glory. Sex outside of marriage dishonors God. Unfaithfulness to one's present or future spouse is, sim is sinful. God is against adultery and sexual immorality. Other four in your Bible catcher and say, Nipedia and Yanko Pansor die, and say, Say a shiny ye. A woman said, Bonibia, your friend of Bonnie dear, but I said, Bonia, a year, my money dear. A quitsia nipedriano, a sans ye nipedre, so your jidinia, a Yanko Pansor die. In two to me, find yenya, or pet, not one sign myself on the fatcher, and sign got to us to be you, or see and shay ye, I was sad, dear no. I feel Bible no, I can say, I can a ding ding ding, I say, a ya bonia, o yankupon, echi, sansing yankupon boy, when a sense or so. And not so be worried, oh, Nasa winning you a a boy, Jamaya. A woman say, be a na more be worry, but no Emma guarantee, ne say, Hunipano, and no em fire your funa, now only no em groom, pema grow, and sign a more worry. A ya dear Bible, a kutia. Hallelujah. And near Becca say, Oh, what's it be a dear to say, my bomodin and son, yammy bonifache, on yammy de chawa, on yammy bemoa, who dear one sign and cossa quine and subium. When you are baby to only bear me beauty, no, ya won't want the announcement that so ya were a four and ya ma, and the Bible train say, A your bonnickets ye. So if they've not paid your uh, your bride price, or the Lord has not blessed your marriage, you have no right to be sleeping with a woman or with a man. It is a warning from the Bible. The church, the church must speak out against sexual immorality and exploitation of women in the world. It must also demonstrate the love of Christ by caring for teenage mothers and their babies, or who are in Christ are fully joined with Christ by the Spirit. Omo a omo a wo wo omo an swa wo omo a wo wo ni na se si ya bo omo so omo sa en kato sa ti bi enu mobio. We have to help the teenage teenagers who are now mothers so that as we care for them, we'll be counseling them as well so they'll not fall into such sinful deeds again. We all who are in Christ are fully joined with Christ by the Spirit. We must not join ourselves to commercial sex workers because God je jealously watches what we do. Let us turn to God in repentance. He will cleanse us, forgive us, 
and make us holy and right with him. Hallelujah. Other four, so Obi was to be at the same, but if you are indulging yourself as a as a, a, a sex worker, the Bible is saying that it does not matter that you go to church. The Bible is saying that it's a sin before the Lord because our bodies are the temple of the living God. And for us, I'm sorry, so who was that to be more? Bible say on your mystery ochery. And for us, say, would it be a be a was a funum? What is that to buy more? A radi and ma warning or see ochery. A son say, a better baby, everybody didn't say, who bomb pie in your meat, ye and answer no tea. God is warning you if you are in such a situation, you may think that your prayers are reaching heaven, not knowing the Lord has withdrawn. Let us be very careful. So that if Jesus comes, we will not, we will not stay, we will not lack behind. He wants to use us. So let's stand against fleshly deeds and then run to the Lord. Onya mi peso de wo enemy ye juma nti enjani enfi hunam akono ho eni ejuma ngbo ho na onya mi enti mi fa ne manye juma na so pie na ni onye mu a obi biara anyo yiraba may the lord help us may the lord strengthen us to be obedient to his word if jesus does not come today we meet on monday if he comes all the better keep on praying for the sick keep on praying for our paramedics and our frontliners. God richly bless you and have a fruitful day and a fruitful weekend. Bye-bye.